Papua forms the center of the new biomedical campus, and I think the oval form is very distinctive and provides a focus to this new master plan. When we first presented the oval form to the trust, there was great excitement. Stephen Chewy said that Papua is the guiding light to the NHS, and he felt that the oval provided an opportunity to create a reflective form that can shine and, and not only reflect the landscape, the pond, but also the local buildings and the local area within the reflective oval. Looking at the composition of the building, what we did is split it into sort of two main components. You have the orthogonal stone base, and then interlocking with this strong base is the oval form that is very, very distinctive and becomes a very strong character of the new Royal Papa Hospital. When we first started to design the new hospital, we had all of our design meetings at the original hospital, which is on a beautiful parkland setting. We wanted to incorporate the duck pond, which is so integral to the setting of the original Papworth. So we actually brought the pond to the new Papworth, and it's in the landscaping. Most hospitals in the UK are departmentally designed. You get a card or a letter through the mail, you're told where to go. You are told what lift to take, what department to go to. Papworth is completely different. We used ease of wayfinding. There's only really two decision points that you need to make when you enter this hospital. You either go right into the outpatient area or you go up the lift to the inpatient area. It's a very, very easy wayfinding. The principle of the design of the building was really based around the patient experience. That's at the centre of this whole facility. We wanted to make their journey into the hospital and around the hospital as easy for them as possible. You know, there's an overwhelming body of evidence around the environment that patients are in has a real impact on their recovery and how quickly that happens. So to really take that into consideration, we separated the flows. And that meant that we took the patient flows, the public flows, the staff and the facilities management flows, and we tried to keep them as separate as possible. It takes the clinical hustle and bustle away from the patient environment. It makes it calm and hopefully comforting. But it also means that the clinicians are able to do their job in a very efficient environment. Their travel distances are reduced. It just makes it really easy for people to find their way. We are in critical care at the moment where there is 46 critical care bedrooms and that's where the sickest patients come straight from theatre to recover. We've provided these beautiful doors in between. They can open up if a nurse in one room needs to go to the next room to assist the patient. These doors can be opened up and the flexibility is there. We have standardised all the rooms to make sure that it's exactly the same for the staff efficiencies, but also for the patient safety. We help them to design something that would fit any manufacturer that they would choose. And once they've chosen their preferred manufacturer, we then help them to put that into their design. The reason why the Royal Pap of Hospital is placed at the new biomedical campus is primarily its synergies with research institutes that formulate around in the master plan. And effectively, we consciously wanted to make connectivity through the buildings, providing linkages not just to the south, but to the north and to the east and also to the west, to actually allow the synergy between researchers and the clinicians working within the hospital. Healthcare is always changing. There's always new technologies, there's new research. And our main philosophy was we really wanted Papworth to be able to adapt and change over time. Some of the things that we did was we broke down the departmental boundaries of the hospital. No longer do doctors have their own offices in the clinics and they don't have their own domain. The clinics are shared amongst all the disciplines, so if one day, if they need more consultant exam rooms, they can actually borrow it from another clinic.
technology in healthcare moves at a very rapid rate. The large equipment, so the specialist imaging equipment, rooms like hybrid theatres, very complex, that technology changes. And so it's really important that our building is able to respond to those changes over the life of the building. We designed standardised spaces. So for example, the template for the theatres and the cath lab is exactly the same so that they're interchangeable. So that if in the future the trust decide that five theatres is not enough, they can convert cath labs into theatres and vice versa. Part of the strategy for future expansion was placing soft space adjacent clinical departments to enable easy reconfiguration of those spaces. One of the concepts is that the soft space is much cheaper and therefore easier to change in the future. If you are a regular patient at Papworth, you're very ill. So it's a very stressful time for your family and we've tried to keep the patient and their families in mind with our design. But also for the staff, you know, they do an amazing job saving lives and we're hoping not only to improve their work environment but also the way they work. It is amazing to be standing in this atrium. This has taken nine years of my life. It's been a personal commitment. One of the wonderful things about being a healthcare designer is that you actually give back to the community. It's really amazing to be at Royal Papworth a few days before it happens. After working nine years on this project, it's great to be here and finally see it come to life. It's overwhelming. I put so much of myself into this building. I worked with such a talented team of people and I'm so proud of it. It's beautiful. Well, I think what's very exciting for me, particularly working on Papworth, is that Papworth has, has been defining and leading light of medical research and phenomenal medical breakthroughs. And as such, it's been constantly in the news. And I can always remember as a small boy hearing about Papworth and it really has formed uh, the consciousness of the nation. So to be able to be part of the team, to work on this building is just, just phenomenal. And to think that we've provided a new home for Royal Papworth, it's a place where they're going to be for many years and a place that I think is going to be part of the public consciousness in terms of the great work they would be doing in the next 30, 40, 50 years. It's phenomenal.